of the one of the issues has been all along was sort of this choice between keeping the workers that the UAW has at the upper tier or bringing in more at the lower tier. Looking at this, you only have 4,000 more coming back that haven't been announced. Tell me about the process of that, the UAW's uh, d decision to be receptive to that, where these jobs are coming from, and what it is precisely that they're going to be doing. The 7,000 that we previously announced um, to the 12,000, there's actually 5,750 jobs that we had not previously announced because in the 7,000, there were 700-plus jobs which were salaried jobs. So that's the sort of walk. Um, so 12,000 um, of that, 7,000 we previously talked about, take off 750 salaried, and we've then got 5,750 incremental jobs we had not talked about before. Marty, do you want to talk a little bit about the, um, the second part? Well, Rob, could you repeat the second part? Oh, the, whole, the whole question of there was the choice the UAW had to make between how many upper-tier wage people they were going to bring in or keep and how many of the lower-tier wage people would be coming in bringing whatever work they would be. So I'm just looking to delineate specifically these new, what, 5,750 jobs, what they will be doing and, and how that breaks down. We have a, we have a, a small amount of employees on indefinite layoff and in this case, for instance, um, if my memory serves correctly, we have 41 in Louisville. So those will be brought back to work and they'll be um, at the Louisville assembly plant. But Louisville is an example. The majority of those are going to be our entry-level employees. 